Do you know how you can reduce your taxable income? Well, the answer lies in understanding the Income Tax Act, specifically, Chapter 6. A. This chapter provides deductions that reduce your taxable income, thereby lowering your tax liability. Starting with Section 80C, this section provides deductions on investments made in instruments like Employee Provident Fund, Public Provident Fund, National Savings Certificate, and Equity Linked Savings Scheme, Tax Saving FDs, NPS, Life Insurance, Tuition Fee, Stamp Duty, Principal on Housing Loan, etc. An individual or Hindu undivided family, HF, can claim deductions of up to 1.5 lakh rupees under this section. Next up is Section 80 CCC. This section offers deductions for contributions made to certain pension funds. The maximum deduction possible here is also 1.5 lakh rupees, but remember, this is combined with Section 80C. Then we have Section 80CCD, which allows deductions for contributions to the national pension system, up to Rs 50,000 over and above the limit of Section 80CCD. If you're an employee, you can claim up to 10% of your salary, while self-employed individuals can claim up to 20% of their gross total income. However, the maximum deduction across all these categories is capped at 1.5 lakh rupees, combined with Section 80C. The new addition is Section 80CCH, which is applicable for the new tax regime as well. This section provides a deduction for contributions made to the Agnipath Scheme and the Agnivir Corpus Fund. Agnipath Scheme means the scheme for enrollment in Indian Armed Forces. The entire amount paid or deposited in this fund can be claimed as a deduction. Scene Script Section 80D offers deductions for medical insurance premiums and preventive health checkups. Individuals and HUFs can claim up to 25,000 rupees if they are up to 60 years old and up to 50,000 rupees if they are senior citizens. Section 80 DDB provides deductions for medical treatment of specified diseases for self or dependents. The maximum deduction is 40,000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees for senior citizens. Finally, Section 80E allows deductions on interest paid on higher education loans. There is no limit to the amount you can claim as a deduction under this section. In summary, the Income Tax Act provides numerous ways to reduce your taxable income. Whether you're investing in certain instruments, paying for medical insurance, or repaying an education loan, there's likely a section in the Act that allows you to claim a deduction. So the next time you're calculating your taxable income, remember to take these deductions into account. You might just find that your tax liability is lower than you expected.